you are uh, a factor of stability in the lives of others. That means that uh, you don't force anyone on your opinions, you don't, you don't force them to listen to you. They'll be direct towards you if they see you live a life of grace. Um, you continue your own path while the madness is going on on one side or the other. Uh, you're like Moses walking in between the water because nothing can drag you down. And um, getting through this is the, uh, probably the biggest achievement. One of the biggest achievements that you have in your life. Because just think of it. Uh, the fact that you haven't gone insane over the, the past year is quite remarkable. Because if you had any mental, mental issues, you were a fragile person or... Uh, it's not to say that people are fragile, but like some of the strongest people in the whole world uh, suffer mental issues. They're, um, in fact, often highly intelligent people can suffer from mental issues. But if you're mentally fragile, like not completely, um, you have a chemical imbalance, whatever, you just suffer fragility and uh, external stimuli can drag you down or it, it gets to you, or you're a hypochondriac, well, you'll be having a very tough time right now. Um, and trust me, there's many such people that don't speak up about it. It's, abs it's uh, obviously horrible. Um, because if people don't know what's going on, the amount of gaslighting is, abs is absolutely staggering in this era. Um, but if you show that you do not get dragged to any position, to left or right or up or down no you just stay you are the grace of God um, and if you don't believe in God that's fine you don't have to um, but you can believe that uh, there is a sort of force in the universe there is plenty of forces and uh, energies in the universe no, we've seen that all around us this year you can sense the energy of others if you deny that you either haven't sensed it or you're just switched off for it. But people have shown their energies this year and you have sensed them. You're sensing my energy right now, which is uh, that I'm energetic. Energetic, I came from boxing and uh, talking all over the place, but you sense my energy. The vibe's quite good. Um, and you being charismatic is that you just... have the little a little seed of good energy inside you which has been implanted by either your your soul or your good upbringing or your personal values and the experiences that you've had along the way and that little seed is coming to to fruition there's a little plant a little leaf growing out of it and that's the grace of the gods there's nothing more to it and in fact, it's a sort of magic. Um, that's the grace that is the divine inside you, is that this little thing comes to fruition and will grow out and you will flower, you will blossom like never before. This spring, believe me, you will blossom like the most beautiful tree with the deepest roots in the whole world. Trust me, uh, you will, no matter the circumstance, you will get out stronger, you will blossom, uh, everything will be fruitful. Don't worry about it. Um, it will be fine no matter uh, what the external factors are you're deeply rooted and you're blossoming outside because as above so below if you blossom there if you show your externalities like uh, i might look freshly um freshly fresh face whatever but it means because i'm deeply rooted my self-care uh, my personal core values they are deeply rooted um, and what you see is the blossoming that only comes because my personality is very stable what you see is the externality it's the blossoming of my personality but deep down is self-care discipline sport work uh, stability all these things are deeply rooted inside of me and you will have the same and eventually once you take care of these deep roots you will blossom uh, do not give up on these do not give up because as above so below um, 
if you see people are not blossoming, there's probably some deeply rooted issues. Uh, there is some deeply troubled people out there right now. Uh, a lot of people need help, uh, which they are not getting, which is a horrible thing. The, a lot of loneliness uh, out and about. But you'll be fine, trust me. If you follow my channel, you'll see good vibes. You'll see the blossom and you probably have blossom in your life as well because if you don't have a blossoming personality uh, you will probably have a lot of issues watching my channel because it's insufferable to you it's just, you couldn't watch a person enjoy life if you have no joy inside your own soul if your soul is a black pit uh, you don't want to see my beautiful soul because this is just what i say about myself I do have a beautiful soul, like it's, um, I feel it inside me, it's a little leaf that's the green leaf inside me, let's say, which blossoms around the whole year. It's never fall or winter in my heart, it's always blossom, always blossom. Um, it's perhaps a bit of a strange, strange analogy, but whatever. And that's, that's charisma and um, the natural energy that that glows on your skin. Everything is energy in the universe. This is where I certainly believe. I do believe in energy um, and vibes, good, bad vibes. You can read the vibe of people's faces if you're a bit in touch with your, with your, um, your inner self, let's say. You can see it all. You, you can see it in the eyes. You can see everything in my eyes. You can see a lot in my eyes as well. I'm a little bit tired. You can see everything. The lighting is not that good, but uh, a lot, a lot, everything can be read almost. And that's the blossom. And uh, yeah, pay attention to some people around you if they're blossoming now or not. If they're not, if they're in a period of fall, they're losing their leaves, brown leaves. You see uh, personalities with no leaves. Um, Shake them up a little, ask what's up, play some contact and talk deep because um, if you shake a tree, let's say, some blossom might fall, some pears may fall, um, some leaves may fall, but you're not reaching down to the roots and a tree doesn't show you its roots. Um, the tree only shows you its roots when you dig for it and the person will never show you his roots unless you dig for it and don't do it in a creepy way. But if uh, push comes to shove, don't be afraid to avoid difficult topics. Don't, uh, because you'll probably be the only person reaching for their roots since a long time. Uh, their spouse might not, their children might not, their parents might not. It might be the, the first person since the, the whole situation started who reached for their roots. So um, try doing that. Uh, see how the person reacts, try to dig down a bit, uh, see if you can make a person blossom again. Now, I know that all of this might sound very cheesy, but I'm just talking off the top of my mind. There's zero structure on this, and I'll just close off with a very nice picture of uh, blossom uh, from my country because my area um, where I'm from, the Netherlands, is uh, blossom. The, the best area for this ever in the whole country, probably the whole world. Uh, it's just absolutely remarkable. If, if, if you're in Blossom in the Netherlands, <clears throat> go see this. Uh, there's a lot of cherry trees, uh, apple trees, pear trees. This is how it looks. It's absolutely remarkable. So uh, that's why I came up with a Blossom analogy um, just from the top of my mind. But this is it. This is my country. Look at this. Uh, so yeah, if you have the chance, go there. Um, so be that blossoming tree, keep the song in your heart and plan a trip. Go to that parallel reality where you start picking up your life. Um, look forward, have something to look forward to. There's a trip to the Netherlands, a cycle trip for the blossom. Just do it, Just do something, do anything. It's the best advice I can give you. So thank you for watching. I hope that wasn't too boring, but either way, uh, hope you're well. Uh, 